Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to find the variance and the standard deviation in a TI Inspire graphing calculator. Okay, the formulas for the population standard deviation and the sample standard deviation are programmed into your calculator already. So this is the process that your calculator is going to do and then you have to take and you have to square it in order to find the variance of both of them. Okay, so both of them will actually be found on the same screen, so that's why I am doing them together. Okay, the process steps that your calculator is doing is it's taking your individual data values, subtracting the mean. It is then going to square those differences and then sum up that um, the, the difference is squared. And for the population standard deviation, it's going to divide by every data, the, the number in your data set. And for the standard deviation, it's going to divide by the number in your data set minus one. Okay, so like I said, your calculator is going to give us both the sample standard deviation and the population standard deviation on the same screen. So it's really important that you know the symbols. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. What we have here is a data set. This is just an arbitrary data set that I made up. Um, it does not have any context. If it does have context, the standard deviation does have the same units as your original data set. All right, so I'm going to take these numbers and enter them into my calculator. I do have them written on a sheet of paper in front of me, so that's where I'm getting the values from. You can just follow along. So I'm going to grab my calculator, and I'm just going to start a new one. Um, it may ask you if you want to save it. You can save it. I am going to go directly to a lists and spreadsheet, and I'm going to enter my data into here. So I am going to up arrow, and I'm going to go ahead and name this. It's really important when you're working with the Inspire, the Inspire, sorry, um, that you name your list with something. Okay, in this one I don't have any context, so I'm just going to call it data. I could have just called it X. It doesn't matter. Okay, and now I'm going to just type in my values that I have written down in front of me. So if you want to just follow along, I'll go slow. And all I'm doing is typing the number and pressing enter afterwards. Okay, I am going to go through this really quickly to make sure I did not make any mistakes because it's really important that you always check to ensure that when you put your data in that you did not make any mistakes because if you mistyped any single value, you will get the wrong answer. Okay, you can find the standard deviation on the screen, but I find it's very cumbersome to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control and I, and I'm going to insert a calculator screen. I just find it easier to um, find these values on the calculator screen. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the menu button and I'm going to go to the statistics menu. So you can either use your arrow or you can hit the number six to get there. Okay, and then under the um, statistics menu, I am going to go to stat calculations, which is option one. And from there, I'm going to choose option one again, which is the one variable statistics. It's going to ask you how many lists you have. We only have one list for this, so I'm just going to click OK. My X list, I have to find the variable that I stored, so I just down arrow and I'm going to select data. That's the only one I have in there. You may have more entered in your calculator. I'm not going to worry about the frequency list right now. If I had another column where it stored my frequencies, then I would change this. But otherwise, you just want it to be one. Okay, I'm going to go down and click OK. And when I click OK, it does find for me the mean. It finds for me the sample standard deviation and the population standard deviation, along with a lot of other things that I address in other videos. Okay, so the S sub X represents the sample standard deviation and the sigma sub X represents the population standard deviation. So I'm going to go ahead and write both of those down. So the standard deviation for the population was approximately 2.615 and the sample standard deviation was approximately 2.757. So what we need to do is we need to square this value in order to get our variance. Now if you square this particular one, it's not going to give you as accurate of an answer and if you are working with an online platform, you may get the wrong answer by squaring the rounded version. So my advice to you is to use your calculator to help you out. So um, your calculator does store all of these values after you run a stat calculation. So if I hit my var button that stands for variables, it will give me all of the variables that it just calculated on there. And so I want to find sigma and that will be the population standard deviation. And then when I hit x squared, it will just square my um, 
standard deviation out to as many floating points as your calculator will give you, and this is going to give you the most exact answer. So 6.84 would be our population variance. So just to show you how different it would have been if I would have squared this, 2.615, and I find a lot of students, sometimes they square it really, like they really round it, and they round the standard deviation to 2.6, and then they square it. Notice that it gives me a very different answer, 6.76 versus 6.84. That's why I advise using the VARs. Okay, we also want to find the sample standard deviation. So to do that, we're going to do the same thing, the VARs. And we're going to go down to find stat.sx. And then I would just hit the x squared and enter. And we get 7.6 as our sample variance. So again, it's best to use the stored features in your calculator rather than using a rounded version in order to square it to get your variance. So just to recap from the top, what we did was we started with a new document. We opened it. Um, so when we came in here, we opened a spreadsheet screen. And I'm going to go back to my current one. We entered our data in, and then we opened up a calculator menu. So to get to my calculator menu, I can either use my mouse pad to arrow onto the 1.2, or I can hit control with the arrows to go back and forth between screens. And then we hit menu, option six, statistics, option one, calculations, and then option one, one variable statistics. From there, we just entered all of our data in, and then we squared them to find the standard deviation. Okay, make sure that you are looking for the correct one and know when you're looking for population standard deviation versus sample standard deviation. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.